hi welcome to my channel i hope you're all doing really really well it's the bank holiday and i'm not doing anything so you know what i thought i'm gonna try out a face mask i'm gonna give you guys a video because that's how much of a good person i am a consistent person i am and yeah so i'm sacrificing my oh well not my whole bank holiday but part of my bank holiday so that i can save you your coin and your skin okay so i went into superdrug the other day and went to buy something else completely different but when i was at the checkout they lured me in and i saw this okay so this is from garnier this is their moisture bomb sheet mask so as you can see it's supposed to be super hydrating anti-fatigue with hyaluronic acid and lavender so um if you've watched some of my other videos a bit about me is that i'm a medical skin grade girl i don't usually go for like drugstore products uh, mainly because the formulas aren't often that great compared to more medical grade skincare products and due to the formulas not being as strong and you know the maybe not so much the ingredients but the percentage of ingredients are often quite weak as well so what basically ends up happening is you're spending a lot more money across a longer period of time to give your skin that the outcome that you want basically so for example c serum i know if i'm buying the skin cuticles um c serum particularly the ce ferulic that you know within a space of maybe three to four months i can begin to see better results of my skin in terms of how more glowy and radiant it may look compared to if i was just using for example a drugstore's own brand of course that depends i don't know every single drugstore brand out there but for the majority of the ones i've tried i just think it's not really worth it but gone off on a bit of a tangent so i saw this at the checkout um i didn't pick specifically for this one it was kind of just there and i thought you know what i'm gonna try it out because i've been trying lots of stuff with this face mask series which i hope you've been enjoying so <coughs> yeah so this is super hydrating and anti-fatigue looking at my skin would i say i think my skin does look quite dull um through certain points of the month my skin does go through a, a horribly dull stage where i begin to break out which is what's coincidentally happening today um hyperpigmentation scars you know they're starting to come back a little bit this mask of course won't address that as the main property they're focusing on is hyaluronic acid so a bit about hyaluronic acid it's generally it's a natural sugar that's within your body hyaluronic acid is basically a molecule it holds on to water it binds on to water and resulting in that your skin has will basically have a much more plump youthful radiant cushiony sort of look um if you're into your fillers and stuff like that fillers are often composed of hyaluronic acid as well hence why when you have them done to like the lips for example your lips then look much more puffier so if this is talking about addressing tired skin then i'm expecting my skin to look a lot more hydrated and i'm expecting for wrinkles and fine lines and stuff to look much much more um karma overall um so this is infused with lavender 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 oils it's basically you know obviously of course it's a flower but it has a lot of calming properties associated with it so often people that struggle to sleep they may benefit from you know inhale um smelling lavender oil whether that's a few drops onto your pillow or whether that's infused into your room and stuff like that so that's what lavender's um basically about so off the bat knowing that this is hyaluronic acid with lavender like i said i'm expecting my skin to look a lot more relaxed and a lot more hydrated and a lot more like i'm ready to tackle the day <laughs> i hope that makes sense so okay anti-fatigue sheet mask so it's a sheet mask 
um it's maize so i'm going to be leaving this on for 15 minutes and apparently it's been infused with one bottle of serum and this serum is enriched with hyaluronic acid and lavender oil what serum this is it's not quite clear um maybe i'm i'm assuming a hyaluronic acid sort of serum with lavender component um it's suitable for sensitive skin it claims so if you do have sensitive skin check out my other video where i speak about it much much more in detail so you can you know identify if you are sensitive or not and this could be quite beneficial for you what's really good is that you know it talks about the effectiveness of the product so you know it says within 15 minutes you should you should basically have more intensely rehydrated skin um to be a bit more critical what does that mean because if i slather my face with a vaseline for example i am instantly going to look more rehydrated so that's just 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 a, just a little critique um it says after four weeks the signs of fatigue are reduced so ideally i guess she would need to use this product for four weeks to see a result which is which is fair um and for the self-assessment it says 75 women use this application three times a week first of all 75 women is not a very big sample of of people, women to use and like why just women as well like men have skin <laughs> I, I know they're, they're, they can be a little bit evil but they have skin um and yeah being a, a bit more critical as well when we say women like what you know entirely does that mean like trying to be a bit more politically correct what i'm basically trying to say is for example if someone's on a lot of hormone therapy um you know now identifying as a woman that can impact your skin as well and the way that <clears throat> your skin reacts to products and stuff so that's something to consider in you know the sample of just 75 women like in the U in the uk alone around half of our population are of course you know women like i'm sure they could have come up with way more than 75 just 75 um being more critical as well is like out of the 75 women what were their age ranges you know your age can also be a fa uh, be a great factor on the way that your skin reacts to certain products you know if your skin's a bit more older and you've got less elasticity i want to know how did this product help your help your skin to look instantly more you know refreshed and hydrated across that four week span um yeah the sample set is just quite small to be honest and we don't know a lot of factors about these women for example were they having any other treatments done while using this product that may have helped to enhance their results um that's just a critique anyways <clears throat> so on the greener side of things this product you know it's eco eco packaging renewable energies and you know it can be disposed of within your home compost compost or if you have a home compost and stuff so that's a benefit all for the environment let's get into putting this mask on so i'm actually back on my pixie as you can see i've got a little teeny tiny bit left um i cleansed maybe like 45 minutes ago um but obviously i made myself like a little coffee so within that time i just used this just wiped it over the surface of my skin just to get rid of any excess oils or anything that may have um built up so this is a retinol tonic i don't use this every day i really rarely ever use it yeah, I rarely, rarely ever use this, but I thought, you know what, just to get the oils off my skin and help this mask to absorb so I can give you guys a much more realistic review. Um, 
yeah sorry do you know what i had covid last week and i feel like i've i've just got a lot of brain fog but yeah so i toned with pixie after my skin dried um i used a little bit of this this is my absolute favorite this is from dermalogical the multi-active toner and this just basically adds a little bit of hydration to your skin so do bear in mind if you do um buy this uh, mask don't shoot the messenger entirely because i do like to use those products specifically this one before i apply any sort of face mask so that helps my skin so i'm gonna open this now so we're leaving this on for 15 minutes so just opening it now it comes in your usual foil sort of packaging to keep the mask fresh that's the mask in there so it's a sheet tissue like mask hmm. doesn't entirely smell like lavender it smells like it smells like something i can't put my finger on it it smells a bit minty actually anyway so this is the mask this is what i hate about sheet masks <laughs> just they're so fiddly okay we've got a lot of products which is a good thing mm, okay quite easy to open i'm happy about that i want to know if it comes in no it doesn't come in two parts okay I hope you can see that I'm kind of like here with it. And now I'm not entirely sure which way this goes. But we're just going to improvise. If this has been saturated enough, really and truly, you should be able to put it on from. Oh, what are you saying? Oh my god, this is so fiddly. Oh, oh. I don't want to get my hands so wet, is that the way? Wait. No, that means the mask goes this way. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Okay. <sighs> okay. Do you know what? I'm really, really, really happy with how this has just gone on though. There's a lot of product on this. So I'm just gonna. Rule number one, we never waste product. So I'm gonna put that onto the back of my hands and my neck. Your hands are one of the first places that actually start to age, mainly because we don't really put SPF on our hands, do we? And we do a lot of things with our hands, um, particularly if you get gel nails and stuff like that, the UV light in that machine. <sighs> so I'm just putting that onto my hands. I'm really, really impressed with how well this has gone onto my, my face. It was a bit fiddly to begin with, but it was very easy to just apply. Like, there's, well, not much bubbles whatsoever. And it's any bubbles that are there are just very easily removable. I'm really, really happy about that. Um, a lot of product in there. 
which is good i'm not going to complain about that at all um i didn't mention how much i paid for this i think i paid i need to double check i don't think any more than two oops two pounds look at all that serum that's left in there There's a lot of serum. Whoops, I'm just gonna. Never ever waste your product. Okay, so I'm leaving this on for 15 minutes um, and we'll see how um, it looks and stuff. Um, of, of course, you know, being the mask that it is, it's very superficial, so I'm not going to expect anything too drastic. But we'll see if it basically helps to just, you know, give me a little boost today on this bank holiday. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. I can't remember now. Right. I'll see you guys in 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes, guys, and I'm so ready to take this mask off. I've been drinking coffee. <laughs> as you can see on the mask but yeah i'm so ready to get this off it's starting to slide down let's get this off so starting from the bottom so the mask isn't entirely dry but most of the product has come off as you can see okay i'm just gonna leave that there this is how we look. So going off what the product says, you can argue, yes, it does look instantly hydrated, but that's to be expected, like I said, because, you know, it's a lot of product, a lot of serum that's, you know, currently on my face. What I am going to do is just microneedle it into my skin a little bit, just so I can get, you know, a much better outcome and have more of this product go into my skin. So let me go. Okay, so this is my derma roller slash, you know, microneedling device. I got this from TK Maxx. It was around like seven pounds. And I'm just gonna, not too hard. Okay, so this is now how we look after derma, derma rolling um, ever so slightly. Um, if you watch that, I did avoid this as um, I've got that spot. It's, it's that time. So anyway, we want to avoid that spot so that the bacteria from that spot doesn't transfer to the clean areas of my face, which will cause more breakouts. Um, it's very normal to turn red as well when derm rolling is obviously it's creating micro traumas to the skin. So this is how I look after basically having applied the mask. So again, this is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture um, Bomb. Yes, my skin does appear to be a bit more hydrated um i don't think it looks as dull as it did look before i applied the mask um of course it's an incredibly superficial mask so this will <laughs> that's the ultimate top layer of my skin 
so i'm quite you know interested to see how my skin will begin to react um towards this serum throughout the rest of the day um at the moment you know it's it's you know a basic sheet mask it's it's okay um i think it's done the job to a fair extent um i think honestly i think i would just prefer to go to you know a clinic and get something done like the epionce pill of course that will cost more i think it's around 50 60 pounds but being a superficial mask it would give me a sort of much better glow and appearance to the dullness and tired appearance on my skin compared to this mask but being the price that this mask is i can't complain too much um using the mask i've not had any adverse reactions it felt very soothing and calming throughout so i think this would be quite good for sensitive skin if you are sensitive if your skin is oily um you know this is a hyaluronic acid serum so I think I would use this mask, but I wouldn't go on top with a moisturiser. I'm not big on advocating for moisturisers anyway, but feeling how my skin feels and how my skin appears, if you do have a more oilier skin type, it, it it's not something I would 100% recommend basically um my skin does have a really nice dewy afterglow as you can see um that's really nice i think i'm gonna wait a few minutes and then top it off with my spf i'm not even going anywhere today but that's just something to consider um the cons i think that's mainly all of them to be honest the ingredients this does have perfume in it so that is quite deceiving this perfume could have been used to enhance the lab because when i open this remember i said it smells minty it doesn't really smell like lavender that could be because of the perfume that's been applied to this um so maybe if you have sensitive skin i wouldn't use this um it feels quite nice and soothing it does say it is for sensitive skin but Due to the fact that it's got fragrance in it, I would be careful, I would be mindful of that. Um, okay, so I've been reading the ingredients on the back of the packaging. And to be honest, I feel a bit confused about what the actual um, hyaluronic acid name is. I'm seeing all these different names that I've actually looked up and it's just not clear at all. I know hyaluronic acid to go by another name which is hyaluron hyaluronin um, if I'm correct and another slightly more complicated name but that name isn't on the back of this at all so whether hyaluronic acid is actually in this or in some sort of unusual way that I don't know I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up this video now. I feel like I've explained a lot. Overall, would I buy this again? Probably yes, if I wanted something quick. Um, with all the masks I've tried, I think I... I mean, it's not the first thing that I would reach for, but if I was just fancy the quick little face mask to do after, you know, excuse me, like a really long day or something like that, then I would buy it, but it's not ultimately my first choice give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe i want to try and get at least to 100 subscribers and i will see you again in my next video bye